they could have switched characters. They yeah. at the beginning of the set they had the opportunity, yep. but for us the uh, box of chocolates has brought us Mewtwo, and I'd say an expected Gengar from yeah. Junior Man. Fascinating. All right, good homing, calling out the cancel. Ooh, crossed up the hypnosis, but we don't see a punish because we're a little too far away. Gengar's still in the corner though. We have seen very, just in these 20 seconds that have passed, we have seen very clean movement and very clean options from both players. Uh, it's, it's really neat to watch. Oh, that JY barely missing the game guard. Now we're in, in for an astonished loop. Mew coming in. Ooh, back catching through the hypnosis, avoiding it entirely. It's not expect the additional hy hypnosis. You know what I think is three. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. My goodness. <laughs> and getting good crits okay. from them too. Oh, the, uh, he went for the extra hypnosis. Come on, opting to just say I'm gonna back up this time. We're gonna we're gonna just not do this. Life tool is very close by. But Sylveon is going to save some lives here. As well as that grab bringing an additional pool of health to Junior Jam. Good low stance from Junior Jam. He's in a cycle cut. And round one Mega Gengar. This is potent. Now, while we've got this moment between rounds, I want to just point out how interesting it is that one of the players who's kind of a kind of a random character, basically. I mean, we've seen a lot of Gengar from him today, and he seems to be sticking with it, but he's using Mew, where you never know what you're gonna get from Mew. I thought that was an interesting little anecdote. But it can be great. And, ooh, excellent uh, back back movement from Kamal. Punishes the uh, invincible wake-up option from Gengar. Keeping himself safe and taking opportunities. That's the Kamal that we we like to see. Yep. But we're seeing some of those th same things from Gengar. A good counter that's gonna beat the perpetual homing attack that Ball's throwing out. Bruno jumps there. Bruno grabs there. Jump beat it and claims a round for Mewtwo. So we're gonna see likely burst from both players. That was a very different round from the previous one. Kamal just very dominantly going in and declaring that he had that round. Uh, whereas the previous one, much tighter, much closer. Very nerve-wracking for both players, I imagine. Gengar getting through a lot of options, and uh, ultimately finds one grab that works. Using Permeate from Hypnosis is very good to throw out some possible hitboxes, and then get them away. Cycle, counters, and grabs. Very smart option selection for Kamal to just activate that burst. He didn't want to deal with that potential hard mix-up that uh, that inevitably Junior Jam did throw out. He threw out the Shadow Ball and then went for the grab. Uh, if if Kamal had done anything but fall first, or I guess back dash would have been fine, it, it would have been spooky. It just it had been a hard mix-up, and he just said, I don't want to deal with the mix-up. All right. Oh, burst de uh, exhaust frames, I think, uh, helping uh, Gengar not uh, be too punishable there. They 100% saved Junior Jam from the punish. And that's really cool to see is people taking advantage of something that doesn't have a lot of understanding from a lot of people. Like, exhaust frames can cause some really wacky things to happen, but when you know how to abuse them, you can do great things. Like burst and not worry about whiffing. Alright, so Kamal was trying really hard to find the life lead there, barely gets it, and a boy walks past the Shadow Ball, which would have been a hit block, probably would have done enough chip to shift the um, time, the life lead. Yeah, yep. That was a very close round, and Kamal went in when he needed to, and, and pulled out that win, just clutching it out, just barely. And that was just game one. That went to round three. We had two very close round rounds and one dominant round coming out from Kamal. And interestingly enough, this is almost looking like a game one between two players. They're right back to just neutral footsies. Yep. It's 
This time, Mewtwo winning the first uh, major interaction. But Gengar getting the uh, uh, major life lead in dual phase. Oh, There's yeah. Potent use of curse. That invincible pool of death that does so much damage when it's allowed to hit. Permeating into a JY. It permeates so good, though. Yep. Alright. Just a little. Goes for that raw fire punch. Raw fire punch, though. It's a great option. This command counters do work. Oh. They're both at a tiny they sliver of health. They just keep exchanging life and that grab. It heals him. This is spooky for everyone. Ooh. CADC is into Gengar's fist. Those fists have a very strange hitbox on them. They, they have a large one. That's it's that's uh, for sure. It's quite astonishing, some would say. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, an excellent grab leading us into dual phase for Mewtwo's favor, but Gengar is keeping the pressure away with counters, but one counter too many and a whiff one leads to another grab. So now we've got the situation where Gengar is in burst, and I don't like it. Yep, and I, I don't Gengar like has... dealing with it. I'm sure everybody else doesn't really like dealing with it. Kamal, just no fear though, bringing out yet another raw fire punch. But he's getting tornadoed. And this Gengar is going to keep pressure on, keeping the life lead more or less around the, the life health around the same. Finding Mal, there. Finding the opportunity to bring in that Sylveon, getting his, his uh, defense buff going. Fire did punches. he just shadow sneak into the fire punch? He did, but uh, this Gengar is going to do lots of work and sends us to game, game three. three. Very close set so far. Back and forth on both ends. We've seen life totals shift and exchange and timeouts from the last second yeah. with last second hits. It's this is Pokemon Tournament. Yeah. DX for the Nintendo Switch. That it is. Exciting times. <gasps> oh, did I just see that? Charizard. Did I just see that? It's time for Michigan's favorite Unga Bunga. <laughs> Kamal is putting away Mewtwo in favor of full-on Oonga Boonga Caveman mode. Let's big see how health, this Charizard goes. Big health, big damage. Big risks. Big risks. And we're going to see how this plays out for him. I know I asked Kamal today. And I love asking Kamal this every time I meet him. Is, so who do you consider your favorite character to play still? And he still says Charizard to this day. Well, it's a good way to end it, then. Uh, at least this match. Now, unfortunately, Junior Jam is getting those opportunities. He's taking advantage. And he's got a huge life lead right now. Who covers the... CADC with some punches. That time Charizard blocks the first one and counters through the second hit. Barely gets oh, this little flare blitz, but that oh, that one does a bunch. And that invincibility is gonna turn some big tides. That Get was Gengar some opens. Full on YOLO. The tension rises. I'm all having to play as patiently as he can, and the fists coming out with their very weird hitboxes. Well, that one was pretty straightforward. Just as long as he activated it in the air. This isn't anywhere near over, though. Kamal's getting to a point where he's close to getting that full stick of butter, and we all know that Charizard's burst attack is one of the scariest things to deal with in this game. Uh, Junior Jam tries to counter a Flare Blitz, and Kamal's far enough away to cause the counter to grab and get a grab. Whip and get a grab. We do have this burst opportunity, and 
Junior Jam trying to call out his Mew, or trying to call for Mew to give him that crit buff, and it gave him damage instead. This, so this oh, first no. whiffs, Kamal not being able to punish, being already committed to his aerial attacks. That could have been a burst for burst trade, which would have been huge for Kamal's momentum. Alright, Kamal is looking to find the last bit of ends against uh, Mega Gengar with a large life lead. Junior Jam playing a very clean, very defensive Gengar at this point. He's got the life lead, he has so much time. Dodges a Flare Blitz and grab punishes to seal the deal, sending him to loser semis. Sending Junior Jam. I want to say that the awareness from Junior Jam to see that Flare Blitz permeate and then just punish was so...